active file. The next thing we would like to do is we would like to learn how to import data from different file formats. So we have a student list here in Excel. And when I open that up, you see that the student list contains common fields or column columns that we normally have in um, Excel for data typed in Excel. We also, in that same folder, we have the teacher list, which is a text document. And the teacher list is stored based on a comma system. So after the ID, comma, full name, course, and phone number. And each data delimited inside is separated by a comma. The third format is another access document called subjects. Let's open that quickly and see what that looks like. So subjects. So this is what subject looks like. It contains one table already. If I should double click this table, I'll see the subjects that are offered in the Heart to Heart School. So I'm going to import these three data formats into my Heart to Heart School database. So Excel sheet, an existing access table, and then a text file. So in my heart to heart school, I already see that um, I have a table. Let me delete this table so we start from scratch. Okay. I first have to close the table so I can right click on the tab and click close and then I can delete it. Yes, I really want to delete it. So to bring in data into access, first you go to the external data tab and then the first data format we want to import is the Excel file. So we click on import Excel and get, the ex get external data um, dialog box shows up and we want to import this data. So I click on browse And when I quickly um, go into my project folder, then I link to my Excel file and I click on open. And the Excel file name, path, the full path, file path appears here. And I click on OK. Before we continue, if I choose the link option, instead of importing the data, the system will link to this sheet. So as we enter data in the Excel sheet, Access will automatically be updating itself with the full list. But in this in case, I'm going to import the data. So, okay. So, Excel shows up and it automatically identifies that the first row of data in my Excel sheet is, is assigned it to column names. Okay, so next. Now the next option I'm al it allows me to change the data type of each column. So student ID is a number. It's not a double. It's a, a I'm using integers here. It's actually long integer because it could become very very large. Do I want to allow duplicates? I can click on no. I don't want to allow duplicates. I go to the next column. It's text, which is okay for me. Last name is text, male and female is also text. Date of birth is date. So I can look at the option, I can see date of time, which is okay. Phone number, I, I always save my phone numbers as long integers or even text. It doesn't really matter. So here I'm going to use um, short text because I'm, I will not perform computations based on the phone number. Program of study is text. When I finish defining my column data formats, I can click on the next button. If I don't want any field like this field 8 to show, I can quickly click on the do not import and skip option. So now let's go to next. Access now wants to know whether it should assign an ID column for me.